Brian, you come up against a team that's on a little bit of a hot streak and a goaltender on a hot streak, but your offense struggled for a second night mm -hmm. in a row. What are some of the things you got to try to do to turn it around? Well, for one, we need to we need to bear down in the house. Uh, we had a couple looks in the house. They really made some saves, but we weren't uh, we weren't there winning those uh, loose puck battles in their house. And there's times we were just kind of throwing blind things from behind the net to the net front where they were they were clogging it up pretty good. So I don't think we used our our D quite as much as we could have. Um, so that was uh, that stuff. I mean, we get pucks through from the point and be ready for rebounds, and that's that's kind of our game when when we do work low to high. So. You know, hats off to Norfolk. They uh, much improved team. I mean, they two thirds of their roster is completely different. So, um, but no excuses. We uh, we didn't get the job done. Uh, you've got a team coming in tomorrow that lost tonight as well. So you're still a point ahead of them in fourth place. Uh, what is what are you looking for tomorrow? It's going to be a playoff game, 100. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't see Cincinnati very often. Um, it's uh, if there ever was a four point game, it's this one. Um, so we uh, we have to come ready to do battle. You know, it's tough. It's the fourth game in five nights, but it doesn't matter. Um, we have to empty the tank. We have to find a way to win games, and um, we can't uh, afford little mistakes um, that result in, in goals against. We we have to play sound, mm -hmm. and we have to play that 200-foot game and realize that there's there's a lot on the line tomorrow.